Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Open Mic Night live at the Zoom Bar DC. We've got a great show for you tonight. We've got Bill Sherman, Arlene Grant, Steve Woolwine, Joseph Stegner, Megan Uko, uh, Warren Hayford, and more. So sit back, relax, have a great time, and Bill Sherman's going to kick us off. So take it away, Bill. Hi, folks. How you doing? Um, because of living arrangements, uh, I'm only going to do one song this evening. Um, and, I, and I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, Smokey Robinson wrote it, but I, I think the Beatles probably really gave it its boost. Um, I don't like you, but I love you. It seems like I'm always thinking of you. strong now you really got a hold on me you really got a hold on me baby well i don't want you but i need you i don't want to kiss you but i need to whoa 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 you do me badly i love you madly you really got a hold do is just hold me hold me hold me hold me yeah the tighter 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 I want to leave you don't want to stay here i don't want to spend another day here whoa 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 i want to split now my love won't quit now you really you really you really got a hold on me you really got a hold on me honey yeah well i love you and all i want you to do is just me squeeze me please me and hold me Yay. Hey, Yay, great song, and you did it fabulously. Thank you. Um, okay, up next we've got Megan Uko. Take it away, Megan. And because of my living situation, I'm outside always. <laughs> I don't want to disturb anybody else. Um, let me know if you can't hear. I'm going to try to like play start through like uh, speakers. The first song is um, a cover of a cover. I, I just know this song by my favorite artist, Shadi, but I think it's, yeah, it's originally by Thin Lizzy. It's called um, Still In Love With You. So I'll just do her version of it. It's kind of a little easy. Let me just turn it out. Hopefully, again, see if you can still hear me without that on. <laughs> I can hear you fine. Um, is this is this fine? Okay, because it's a little. It just a little turn lazy. turn it back on. Whatever you did, because I, I, at least I can't hear you very well. A little bit louder. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear the guitar. It's just kind of throwing me off a little bit because it was, yeah, it's a little behind. You just started doing that? Okay. All right, I'll try my best. <laughs> It's 
still Yay. Sorry, I have to... Yeah, see, I can echo the same thing. Once you get that flow in, because I was listening to the lyrics and I was listening to your voice in them. And again, when you get so that your fingers are keeping up with your lyrics and you're able to actually express yourself because you already got the lyrics down and you're able to put your emotion and feeling and expression into the song that's hit worthy it really is you guys listening to those lyrics you know they're you've got it i'm a toastmaster so for decades now i've been listening to people every week and several times a week give speeches and i've given speeches and then i know a lot of what goes on inside a person when they're in front of an audience and i can recognize when i hear it some of what's going on inside somebody so again the only way to get where i'm talking about is by doing what you're doing and that's just keep practicing and just keep doing it but that's one that's worth it because uh when again you get that in sync how you feel and how fast your fingers and your voice can keep up you know it's hit worthy so <laughs> Good job. Let's try this bit of mine for this next tune. All right, this next tune, uh, I guess it, I guess it's another little song, kind of like a sad song by us, by Karen Bailey Ray. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but I love the song. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a sad song. It's called I, um, I Do It All Again um, by her. I'm 
some other I think I played this once here at least once (laughs) sometimes some changes These days we found a way to go back in time. The thorn rose roll and kids playing in the backyard, watching family and friends on the front porch, taking time to ask how. Seems we got out in front of time Today we step back and realize It's not the time you spend But the time you have On Thorn Road Road We pull the cord, turn off Screens. We want to feel the fresh air breeze The kind that blows through your window screen On Thorn Rose Road Seems we got out in front of time Today we step back and realize It's not the time you spend But the time you have On Thorn Rose Road Pull the cord, turn off your screens We want to feel the fresh air breeze The kind that blows through your window screen 
Day we step back and realize the simple things in life are back in style, like corn rolls roll. Woo woo! Corn <laughs> rolls roll! Yeah. Do what song was that in? Do it. What's that, Megan? Oh, what song was that? It's called Thorn Rose Road. It's kind of like a, a happy place. <laughs> happy place. Awesome. <clears throat> I take it it's a real place that you've been to? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a, another COVID song. <laughs> Stuff that I wrote during COVID. Oh, yeah. I wrote great. that two years ago. Um, this one was actually even before that, so I don't know that I ever played this here. Might have. <clears throat> Searching your passion, following your path, whether you're free falling with no strings attached. Free to fall in every direction And nothing's holding you back Be careful what you're asking When you're looking no strings attached but one string will get you connected and three strings makes it right Three chords tells the truth in the song called Life. Life is a symphony played with many parts. Strings wound and tuned Makes a sound of your, your heart Family and your friends All the strings that hold you tight Makes a sound Of the harmony Of your life Life is a symphony Played with many parts Strings wound and tuned Makes a sound of yours Oh, 
One string will get you connected And three strings makes it right Three chords tells the truth in a song called Life. That's a really good song, yeah. I haven't heard it before. Yeah, I think I've, it's the first time we've heard it. Yeah, I don't Beautiful. think I ever played it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not for us. <laughs> yay. Thank you. Yeah, yay. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Um, Joseph, you want to go next? I sure do. I have a friend in Hawaii who really liked the lyrics of this song that I'm about to sing, and she wants to sing it herself. And she asked me to send some music, and I couldn't find a video of me singing it. I know I've done it. Um, I couldn't find a video of it, so I'm going to create another one for her by recording it tonight. It's inspired by cancer. It's called Song of a Widower. But after the tragedy in Sandy Hook, I changed one word. Initially, I had the word evening, since that evening you went away. But after uh, the tragedy in my old school, I just changed it to since that morning you went away, because it's a song that's universal for anybody who's lost somebody that they love. So here we go. It's called I Miss Your Voice. Mm. Like a part of me that won't come back, I'm still hurting since you're gone. My empty arms and fond memories make no magic of the dawn. Every morning with each sunrise I ache as soon as I am awake. There are no words that people say to take that devil's jagged rake from scraping across my heart so often throughout the day. From all the pain I feel inside since that morning you went away, I miss your voice echo down the hall. Whisper in my ear, or say anything at all. I miss your smile, I miss your face. I miss the way you kissed me, or your touch put me in place. I miss you, babe, I miss you, babe. There is no beauty I'm aware of where you are not within its glow. And my heart still feels you with me everywhere I go. I miss your voice echo down the hall, whisper in my ear or say anything at all. I miss your smile, I miss your face, I miss the way you kissed me, or your touch put me in place, I miss you babe, I miss you babe, there you go, <laughs> I miss your voice. Hey Joseph. Hopefully that came out okay. You know, everyone just go back and like the audio is all sucks or the video sucks. So hopefully that came out okay. Um, all right. So this next one then that I'm going to do is kind of similar um, in theme. I guess it's called If I Were to Leave This World Tomorrow. It was a homework assignment in a life coaching class where we were assigned um, to write something, or do something that makes a statement of who, who you are. And uh, so I wrote a song. And so while I was working, um, a shift 
doing security in San Francisco for a convention. I wrote this and here I go. I hope you like it. Yes. Would you like a picture? I would, but I'm actually performing right now, so yeah, that'd be wonderful, but in a few minutes, thank you. <laughs> I was just offered a fish sandwich from my housemate. How nice is that? Okay, here we go. If I were to leave this world tomorrow, this is what I'd want you to know. I've been blessed each day I've been alive. And I see beauty wherever I go. If I were to leave this world tomorrow, this is what I'd want you to know. It doesn't matter how you might appear. For everything there is a first. Even heroes and geniuses have things at which they are the worst. What if purple said to red and blue? Because you're different, I don't need you. Creation means it's time for something new. Your own heartbeat proves it's true. Keep your faith when there is nothing left. But only threads to keep you sane. Love your best. Do good and don't dismay when the milk don't call the cream the same. If I were to leave this world tomorrow, this is what I'd want you to know. I've been blessed each day I've been alive. And I see beauty wherever I go. And here you go. There's another one to run with. And for those of you dropping in who don't know, I don't claim to be a singer. I'm just a lyricist passing these along for others to sing. It's one of my favorites, Joseph. I love that song. The lyrics are so awesome. Thank you. Thank that. you. Great lyrics. Great lyrics. Thank you. And so um, if you could send that to me, Maria, I'd like to, to okay. oh, isolate sure. the one. Thanks. Thanks. Arlene, are you ready to go next? Or do you want to wait a few yes. minutes? I'm ready. Okay. okay. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. So I am a lover of Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, and 70s music. So I am going to do with a little karaoke for Zoom assistance, Sarah. So I hope you can hear it. Can you hear it? Yes. Good. Here we go. Wait a minute, baby. Stay with me a while. Said you give me life. But you never told me about the fire. Drowning. In the sea of love, where everyone would love to drown, but now it's gone. It doesn't matter what for, 
When you build your house, then call me home. And he was just like a great dark wind within the wings of a storm. I think I had met my match. He was singing. And undoing and undoing the laces undoing the laces. Said Sarah, you're the poet in my heart. Never change, never stop. But now it's gone. It doesn't matter what for. But when you build your house, oh, then call me home. Hold on, the night is coming and the stalling flew for days. I'd stay at home at night all the time. I'd go anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Ask me and I'm there, yeah. Ask me and I'm there, cause I care. In the sea of love, where everyone would love to drown. But now it's gone. They say it doesn't matter anymore. If you build your house, then please call me home. Sarah, you're the poet in my heart. Never change. And don't you ever stop. And that's it. Woo! Yeah, Arlene, that was beautiful. I love Fleetwood back. Wow, you nailed it. Me too. Me too. Wow. I, I have to tell a funny story. I used to, I only have one song, but I used to play it so much that I actually melted the tape in my cassette deck in my car and had to get the dealership to take care of it. Wow. I did that too. My favorite, greatest hits of the Gypsy Kings. Just I would listen to it mm. to and from work on the ambulance in Salinas, and finally my car said, "Okay, I'm done." <laughs> Ate it up. <laughs> oh, wow. wow, that was Thank wow, you. that was great, Darlene. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, Anna Rose, do you want to go next? Oh, ah, sure. Sorry. Hello. Hi. Good to see everyone. Hey, welcome back. Thanks. 
I'm I'm here with my mom. Can are you can Hi. Hey, mom. Hi mom. Hello. Um do you want to get in? Well actually wait, I need a keyboard. Here, I'll turn the this thing. No, it's fine. It's fine. Well, um okay. We can't remember if we've sung this before, so it might be a repeat, but that's okay. That's okay. Whatever uh, you did before was incredible. So oh. it, you can play it again as many times as you want. <laughs> Thank you. All right. It's a class. Do you have enough space? Yeah. Okay. You can you? Okay. Can people hear? Awesome.
Woo! Nice to wow. have you. Yeah. That was incredible, you guys. Wow. That was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. so beautiful. Does anyone remember if we've done that before? <laughs> You might have done it before, but it was a classic that was like perfect, and you did, yeah. You know, so you can do that every week if you want. Um, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, thank you. Turn to All right. Put one Thanks, of you Mom. and your mom on our little Zumbar list. Uh, we, I just, I started a Zumbar DC Solid Gold playlist, and I did put one of the songs on there that you did. I can't remember if it was this one. It may have been, but yeah, it was good enough. I thought, yeah, people got to hear this. So it's a solid gold playlist. It was Zumbar DC. And I put your lights on there too. And, and Rose. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, it's good to hear you again also, Joseph. It's, I, it's been a while. Yeah. It's good to see you too. It's great. You're doing great. It's good to see both of you. Thank you for being here. Sure. Thank All you. Right. Bye, buddy. All right. Okay. <laughs> One more. You're leaving so no, soon? No, just getting out of the frame. <laughs> You can oh, okay. no, no, but I'm not singing. I'm just uh, That's okay. Great. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We got another one. Was the balance okay and stuff? The yeah. Sound? Okay. You're getting better. <laughs> wow. You guys. Yeah. Did your mom want to sing more? <laughs> there are two of you, so you can sing four songs, you know. Oh. Uh, what do you. Uh, uh, oh, 
you can do honesty, right? Do you want to do that? Oh, sure. Um, oh, do you, or do you want to do um? We could do uh, we could do New York State of Mind. Like the internet. I don't think so. Uh, oh, we could do. I I have to learn it. Sorry, we we can have to convene for a second. Maybe does anyone else have to go? <laughs> Um, yeah, sure. Um, okay. Yeah, we can, we'll, have... we'll reconvene. We'll, we'll, uh, okay. okay. Um, Warren, do you want to go next? Yeah, sure. Give me one second to grab my guitar. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. No. Uh, now let's see what the hell am I going to play? Starfleet uh, <laughs> but uh but yeah and i i wrote a long time ago probably uh like five years ago or something like that um it's called i'm getting fourth of july and now uh, let's see what's um what i'm trying to start us we had um starfleet command there austin i love that background so you look very much like you were literally uh, coming to us from uh somewhere in the cosmos <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you can see it's austin much the background there uh, warren but that was, that was a great song. Yeah. I was enjoying it from Lower Earth Orbit. I'll do a cover. This one is uh, <clears throat> Honcho and Lefty by Tom Van Zandt. <clears throat> Living on the 
road, my friend, is gonna keep you free and clean. Now you wear your skin like iron and your breath's as hard as kerosene. You weren't your mama's only boy, but her favorite one, it seemed. She began to cry when you said goodbye. his pants for all the honest world to feel. Pancho met his match, you know, on the desert down in Mexico. No one heard his dying words. And that's the way it goes. All the better they say they could have had him any day. Go so wrong. Out of kindness, I suppose. Lefty, he can't sing the blues all night long like he used to. The dusty poncho bit down south that ended up in Lefty's mouth. The day they laid poor poncho low, Lefty's whip for Ohio. Where he got the bread to go Ain't nobody knows All the better they say They could have had him any day Only let him hang around Out of kindness I suppose Pancho fell, left he's living in a cheap hotel. It looks quiet, the desert's cold, so the story ends, we're told. Pancho needs your prayers, it's true, but here's a few for lefty tip. He just did what he had to do. So up next, we've got Austin. All right, so this is only going to make sense if people know The Incredibles movie. Do people know The Incredibles movie? Um, I'm going to, okay. If you don't know The Incredibles movie, just think of the oldest woman you've ever pictured. and. Yeah, who's got quite the attitude. Do you, do you want to do like a show of hands for who knows The Incredibles? Yeah, sure, a show of hands of who knows The Incredibles. If you if you don't, then it's just going to be me doing a very weird impression. Sort of. Uh, um, that is sort of. 
Okay. Well, so this is going to go over well then. Um, funny. So funny. Okay. Well, go for it. Go for it. All right. Um, Anna Rose, I, hear pe I see people cheering. So I think a lot yeah. of people love what you're going to do. Okay. Um, are you ready, Anna Rose? Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the part of Mr. Incredible, but I don't do impressions. So you'll have to use your imagination. All right. So let me, let me just give you some background. So um, um, Mr. Incredible um, is in, he's trying to get back into the game of hero work and he needs a super suit. Um, we're starting from Anaros, we're starting from uh, all visitors are required to make a reservation. All right, so to continue with the background, um, Mr. Incredible or Bob, is um so mr incredible is the most memorable name his real name is bob the most but maybe the most forgettable name maybe that's the movie did that on purpose and um he's going to visit the tailor who makes all the tailor for all of the he superheroes um they're both in retirement because the government has outlawed hero work um and he is like this giant of a man and she's got to be like maybe three and a half feet tall. Um, and Rose, do you have, do you have it? I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, <laughs> okay, we'll see how this goes. Um, okay, I think, okay, so, um, the, so Bob or Mr. Incredible pulls up in his car to, um, her security gate and the guard says, all visitors are required to make a reservation. And Edna interrupts and shoes the guard, shoes the guard away and says, hey, get back to work. Go check the electric fence or something. What is it? Who are you? What, what do you want? Oh, my God, you've gotten fat. Come in, come, come. Yes, things are going quite well, quite, my God, no complaints, but you know, it, it, it is not the same, not the same at all. W weren't you just in the news, some show in Prague? M M Milan, darling, Milan, supermodels, ha! Nothing super about them, stupid, spoiled little stick figures with poofy lips who think only about themselves, ha! I used to design for gods. But perhaps you'll come with a challenge, eh? I was surprised to get your call. I just need a patch job. Hmm. Looking at the suit, this is mega mesh outmoded to a very sturdy and you've turned right through it. What have you been doing, Robert? Moonlighting hero work? Must have happened a long time ago. I, I see. This is a hobo suit, darling. You can't be seen in this. I won't allow it. 15 years ago, maybe, but now? What do you mean? You designed it. I, I, I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. You, you need a new suit. That much is certain. A new suit? Where the heck am I going to get a new suit? You can't. It's impossible. I'm far too busy. So ask me now before I become sane. <laughs> Wait, you want to make me a suit? You push too hard, darling, but I accept. It will be bold. Dramatic. Yeah. Heroic. Yeah, something classic, like Dinah Guy. Oh, he had a great look. Oh, the cape and the boots. No capes! Isn't that my decision? Do you remember Thunderhead? Tall, storm powers. Nice man. Good with kids. Listen, he... November 15th and 58th. All was well. Another day saved when his cape snagged on a missile fin. Thunderhead was not the brightest boy. Stretto girl! April 23rd, 57. Cape caught in a jet turbine. You can't generalize about Metal Man Express Elevator Dino Guy snagged on takeoff, splashed down, sucked into a vortex. No kips. Now go on. Your new suit will be finished before your next assignment. You know I'm retired from hero work. As am I, Robert. And here we are. E, I only need a patch dump for sentimental reasons. Fine. I will also fix the hobos. You're the best, E. Yes, I know, darling. I know. All right. <laughs> the end. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. So I don't know. That was a lot of fun. That was really fun. That was a lot of fun. So um, one last comment, um, and that's that's all I have for tonight. Every sing- If you ever listen to a comedian, there's always like one voice that they can do that other than their own. And usually it's some like played up version of like, oh, I can't believe you just said that, blah, blah, blah. For some reason, this is my alter ego. Um, this like three foot woman <laughs> who's just a boss um, in the highlight of the movie. And, you know, at least she has a persona. So, you know. That was That's awesome, it. Austin. Thank you. Yeah. It's uh, now I'm going to have to go watch the movie because <laughs> that was so great. So. Yeah, Joseph, I'm glad you were like laughing the whole time. It was great. It was great. There's power in voice inflections. When you can have an audience through your voice see a different character, that's great. And that's what you did. That's a great talent. So, yeah, don't hold back on that. And put a few more under your belt, too. Get some good <laughs> vocabulary in there for your other characters. That's great. Sure. That was awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Austin. Okay, so back to the Anna Rose and her mom show. Hey, we're gonna do an original All right. that my mom wrote. I did. Yeah. Um, back in, and it's something like 2003, and it actually was recorded in 2007. And there's lots of MP, uh, lots of uh, CDs. Yeah, you can find. I don't it. know if some people. Austin, a CD is this thing that you used okay. to play. Um, <laughs> so, um, lots of CDs in our basement of it. Yeah. Um, you can find you can find her on where on CD Baby know, and and Spotify. Well, all of those. Things. Yeah, all of those things. Um, cool. Spotify is this thing where. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Thanks. Um, yeah, you can you can find her on a lot of places. I'll put your name in the chat. No, you don't. Oh, I yeah. okay. Yes, okay. we need to know your name so we can. Yeah, find her. you can find her oh, on okay. on all the things. Um. And this is, and, oh, 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 you want, uh, you should introduce So it's it called Like a Braided Candle. And it is about um, a Jewish ritual uh, that is done every um, Saturday night after the Sabbath with a candle and spices. And it's about, uh, for, the, for, the, for the purpose of sort of bringing in the, uh, the week in a sort of nice spiritual way. But you don't really have to know what Hubdell is to appreciate the song, at least I hope not. <laughs> All right. Like a 
braided candle, let us shine, let us shine. Like a braided candle, let us shine. Feel strong as when we lick ourselves together on our arm. Like a braided candle, let us shine. Like a braided candle, let us shine. Sorry, I forgot some of the words in my own song, so. Wait, you're good. Thank wow. you. Generous. Yeah, Thank you. very good. Um, yeah. Want to do good. more? Or is that how it, one, another one more? No, yes, maybe. And while we're talking about braided things, have you read Braiding Sweetgrass? I put the name in the chat. It's a book about indigenous wisdom. Uh, beautiful. Tell a bit, yeah. You might enjoy it. Who wrote it? Thank you. Um, an indigenous American who's also a botany professor, Robin Wall Kimmerer. Robin? I put it in the chat. Okay. Um, so is that a yes, you guys are going to do one more song or not? Wait, us? us? Yeah, I don't think we have any. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you want to? I don't think we have another one. I don't think we have another one. Okay. Oh, did you want, did you want another one? Or sorry, I don't, I well, mean. Well, you get two per person, right? Oh, That's two per person. Suggesting. Do you want to do another one? Uh, I don't know. Do you have another one? I could do another one. Okay. I don't remember what I've done here though. I, it doesn't, I mean, everything you do is fabulous, so. Do you want to? Do you want to do lights again? I love it when you're oh, lights. lights. Uh, I'm not gonna do lights because I haven't played it in a really in like a long time. Um, I could do I could do eagles. I could do some. I could do desperado. Okay, sounds works for me. Do lights again at other time. <laughs> I just have to actually like go back and and look at it. I guess you could do all this. All right. Okay. I have to get the lyrics, sorry. Here we go. Linda Ronstadt. Sorry. Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? You've been out riding fences for so long now. Oh, you're a hard one. I know that you have your reasons. These things that are pleasing you, they hurt you somehow. You draw the queen of diamonds, boy. She'll beat you if she's able. You know the queen of hearts is always your best bet. Now it seems to me some finer things have been laid upon your table. But you only want the ones that you can't get. Desperado. Oh, you ain't getting no younger. Your pain and your hunger, they're driving you home. And freedom, oh, freedom, well, that's just some people talking. Your prison is walking through this world all alone. Don't you feel the cold in the wintertime?
like the very fast version. <laughs> I did not mean to take it that fast. It was like a train <laughs> got away from me. <laughs> hey Anna Rose, that was beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um so that's our show. So <laughs> thanks for another awesome open mic night live at the Zoom Bar DC. And thank see you, you next Marie week. Louise. Take care. Thanks Marie Natalie Louise. are you in have a good week. Thank you. See you everybody thanks, Laura. Thank you. Thanks, thank thanks, you. Warren. Thanks, Joseph. Thanks, Anna Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Marie Louise. Yes. Is Natalie in Paris? She's back in DC. She was okay. in France, but she's back. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Have a great week, everyone. Love you guys. Thanks. Yes. Good, night. good night. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It was good, good, good. Thanks, Marsha. You're welcome, Marie Louise. I will see you, see you along soon. the way here. Yeah, he will. Right. Thanks. You Take too. good care Bye. of your heart. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs>